As we're, we're approaching the race here uh, in a few more days, what are some of the things that are going through your mind? Well, now we're getting into the home stretch here, getting ready for the race. Most of it now centers around gear, making sure our logistics are ready to go and that we're mentally prepared for the uh, grueling five-day uh, race coming up. In terms of the training, is it heading down the stretch? What is that going to entail? Well, right now we're going to be uh, tapering our training a bit. Uh, we'll be fo focusing more on some skill sets, so we'll be uh, playing down in the rapids here a bit with our rafts, making sure that our skills are, are set for that part of the course, and then probably a few light hikes. Again, just making sure our gear is correct and that uh, we're prepared. At some juncture, you got to say, okay, let's race. We're ready to go here. Yeah, I'm ready to go right now. I'm really excited. This is going to be a fun race. We're going to be through some beautiful countryside and, you know, it's almost a year of preparation for this. So there's a lot of excitement building and just can't wait to see all the other teams here in town. And hopefully we have a, a fun, great race. The initial maps looks like uh, heading out of the Jackson area, maybe going uh, south first. Well, we're going to be on the water, so hopefully it don't make us paddle upstream. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be heading uh, heading south from uh, Jackson and, again, some beautiful countryside, and we'll be out in the wilderness there for a bit and then start finding our way home to Casper. That long paddle ride to start, I mean, that's an immense challenge, isn't it? Well, I'm actually looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. Um, you know, it's it's really just the start of the race. The challenge will begin right after we get out of that uh, uh, rapid section or the water section and start that 40-mile trek up through the wilderness. So, yeah, we're going to try to enjoy that and enjoy some of the scenery uh, during that part of the course. You know, you got a couple of members of your team who are really good on the bikes, and that's going to help us. I think, what, do you have a 160-mile run on the bike? Uh, well, I think overall we have about uh, 260 uh, total, but we have a one segment that's 183 miles. So yeah, Christy Olson's on our team, and we already told her if she pedals too fast, she's going to be carrying all our gear. <laughs> now, in terms of the navigation, I mean, it's not unusual that you may follow another team. Well, you know, again, that's a, that's a cardinal rule in adventure racing, not to follow other teams, because if they make a mistake, then you're suffering from that mistake as well. Um, you know, once we get spread out, we'll probably uh, rarely see teams on the course. Uh, it will probably be alone for a lot of the race, uh, which is fun. That's part of, part of adventure racing and, and part of the excitement. But yeah, we'll occasionally cross other teams, but for the most part, the rule of adventure racing is don't follow. You know, I was talking to Adam and Ryan of your team, and uh, nutrition and hydration are enormous factors in this. Yeah, that's a big challenge. This is a race of attrition and making sure that you're hydrated, making sure that you're eating, even when you don't feel like eating or, or when you're not feeling well, that's really the key. We're burning a lot of calories, we're working really hard, and we have to ma uh, maintain our bodies throughout this race. And plus the mental edge, you got to be mentally sharp the whole way, and that's not going to be easy. Yeah, there'll be ups and downs for sure. Any any type of race of this distance, um, all of us will be feeling bad at some point, but that's why we're a team of four to help each other get through it. Um, you know, the key is just make sure you watch out for your teammates and, and recognize when they're when they're down and not doing well and make sure that you can uh, prop them back up and get them through the race.